welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is ella i film fun college lifestyle and beauty videos today i want to talk to you guys all about planning sorority events being the event planner and kind of just some tips and tricks on how to plan successful events and kind of get your foot in the door with event planning so yeah if you guys want to see today's video and want to see more um, of my opinions some tips and tricks make sure to stay tuned if you guys want to see more of me you can always subscribe down below i upload every monday and friday and I would love to for you to join our little family here and if you guys like today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up it tells YouTube to push my video out more on the platform and it would mean the world to me and if you guys have any questions for me make sure to leave them in the comments below and let's go ahead and jump into today's video guys so if you're new to my channel and it's your first time clicking on one of my videos hi welcome thank you so much for tuning in and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back I love to have all of you so yeah if you guys are brand new or you guys didn't know I'm an Alpha Gamma Delta at Texas State University. I absolutely love it. It's so much fun and I just love being in my sorority and I have a whole playlist and I'll make sure to link it up above if you have any questions about Greek life. I have a lot of videos about rushing and vlogs of my events and all that. I'll make sure to link it up above for you guys. So yeah, the way this video kind of came about and I wanted to make it is because um, as being the event planner, I do get some questions about like how do you do this, how do you do that, and then so I ended up putting a poll on my Instagram, shameless plug, you guys can always follow me, I'll link it down below, um, about what you guys want to see, what are some questions you have, so I'm going to try and um, give you guys as much information as possible about event planning. I made a whole outline, so hopefully... I can stick my outline and not run on. But um, yeah, I'm super excited to talk to you guys and kind of just explain about event planning. It's a, something that I'm super passionate about and something I love doing. So yeah, let's just hop into it. So my, I have two sections for this video. It's going to be how to be successful and then how to plan an event. So let's start off with how to be successful. So my first tip would be you need to have a passion for event planning and creating and you like this is something like it would probably work if you're much more social or you just really like people this is a very stressful and time consuming position so this needs to be something that you have a passion for and something that you like to do because otherwise you're just going to be miserable you're not going to like it i was lucky my sorority has like assistance to all of the larger positions so i was like the assistant it's called director of special events so i was the assistant before i was um the full event planner and i loved it and i was like oh my gosh i love this i really want to do this and um I had a really good relationship who with Hannah, who's our now president. She's awesome. And she was the event planner before me and I loved working with her. So then I was like, oh my gosh, like I think I want to do this. So then when elections came around, I ran for it, got it 10 out of 10. Um, so that's the first thing. Next, you need to be really good at communicating. So tip number two is communication. Um, you need to have a good phone voice and you need to have good email etiquette because you will be emailing and calling venues. Um, a lot I, for each event me and my um, director Valentina we probably talk to minimum like 15 venues and we talk to catering and we talk to florist we have to call email and we're talking to multiple like organizations or vendors a day so you need to have very good etiquette on how to write a professional email how to sound polite and professional on the phone so um those things will take you very far not only in like your regular life but also especially in event planning so it looks really good if you have a very professional just kind of way about you. Um, tip number three that goes along with this, have a professional email. I'm lucky I already came into Alpha Gam and they already had them set up. Like my sorority has Texas State Alpha Gam event planner, Texas State Alpha Gam recruitment chair, Texas State Alpha Gam president. So it's very easy to find us and very easy to email us. Um, and if your sorority doesn't have this or fraternity or any organization that you're working with, I 100% recommend you start with them. You can use Gmail. They're free. They're great. That's what we use. And it's looks so um good when you're emailing like vendors or things like that like it's an organization not just like oh it's Ella from Alpha like where is she from again like you have to kind of remember so that makes it super easy and it makes it all easier when you are communicating with other Greek life and stuff because a lot of us do have the Texas state and then our sorority and then the position like it makes it very easy to 
email and like remember who you're talking to, things like that. So I love having a professional email. And then my next and last tip, tip number four for being successful is to be on top of your agenda slash planner. Deadlines are essential with your event planning because you have to keep track of every single season like um because every season has different events like halloween all of october there's going to be hay rides things like that like if you're into that you could do a date party for a hay ride you could do a mixer things like that and then for spring events you have to be very careful because spring is wedding season like um everything a lot of venues get booked so you need to be mindful of the seasons and your time limit with emailing venues talking to vendors like catering florist and also being in, in a timely manner, letting your chapter know at least two months ahead of the event, if possible. Um, that gives people time to take off work, find dates, get dresses, um, or whatever they need for that event. Um, it gives people a lot of time. So I really recommend the farther in advance you can plan, the better. Like me and Valentina are currently planning all of our events and I've already booked our vendors and everything for all of fall 2020 events. And like we're not even in school right now, we but we've completely booked everything. Everything's good to go just because we were able at our last chapter to tell um, our whole chapter like this is the schedule, this is the themes, now you have times to go, now y'all have time to go get everything. So really recommend doing things in as much advance as possible. So that's for everything on how to be how to be successful. And then my next tips on how to plan a sorority event. Sorry if I look down, I just don't want to forget anything. Um, something that Valentina and I do, and we have a shared Pinterest board where we can both be on like a board at the same time, having a mood board for every single event and every single section, catering, decorations, um, like what you want the venue to look like makes it so much easier when you start emailing, like create a mood board of like different themes that you like, catering, all of that before you get to the point of emailing venues, before you get your headquarters to approve the event, things like that. Cause then I, what I like to do is I send out that mood board to our advisors. So then they know what I'm talking about in the email. They're like, Oh, like, how does this work? Like they're going to ask a lot of the logistics questions. And then you can explain, this is my vision. It makes it a lot easier for things to get approved and for you to kind of figure out what you want. Like our last formal was Vegas themed and I was like, we can't do like card games and stuff because that's like legal. But I was like, I want poker chips on all the tables. I want big balloons. I want all the decorations to be black and red, like that kind of vibe. And um, I can actually, if I can figure out how I can post screenshots and stuff of um, like different mood boards. And I also create a board for fashion for the event. I create recommended like dresses or like outfits if it's not formal for the event so then girls aren't like confused it's a lot easier to do that because then everybody knows the attire for events so no one comes dressed to way way too dressed up or not dressed up enough it's makes it a lot easier for everyone to just kind of be on the same page and especially um for sororities like i believe sororities we um we obviously like to take pictures at every event everyone likes to take pictures at event but we usually have a um videographer who will come and sometimes shoot a little bit of clips for events for like formal recruitment like for recruitment videos so you want to make sure everyone is on the same page looking fabulous so and feeling the best that they can feel so um i really love doing mood boards and outfit boards so then people know your expectations so that's a good one next would be to know your limits and make sure you are in good contact with your um finance team we have a finance like chair like and then we also have an assistant and then we also have a finance advisor so i make sure to email all of them anytime i have a question about my budget or how to send checks or any of that and i keep them up to date with every single step that we take in the event planning process I'll be like okay we're looking at florist here and we're looking at catering here and this is the venue and I feel like the better communication you have the easier it is with booking events and venues like right now with our finance girl Lauren I let her know everything in advance like for fall 2020 and she's like oh great like I'll make sure to write a check and send it off and we'll be good to go things like that so then you're not last minute like oh did you pay for this I thought I told you to pay for it like and I really recommend doing everything through email again why you have the professional email so then that way both sides have proof of everything that you agreed to so it's not like oh like I thought we were gonna do this like that way there is no miscommunication 
Um, so that all goes well. And then also know your limits within like your headquarters. Like I know Texas State and our Alpha Game headquarters, there are certain events that they allow and certain events that they don't allow. So make sure that you're reading those rules before you start planning. It'll just make it a lot easier instead of being so excited and planning something and then them being like, no, we're not gonna do that after you put like two weeks of like full on like research into this. So I really recommend, um, we have a handbook for the event planner in our Texas State website. If you just look at FSL, uh, for Turn fraternity sorority life um it'll show rules and stuff so i really just recommend looking through all of those before you start planning an event and if you are not in greek life but if you're in another organization make sure you're following those rules or if you're just like someone watching this wanting to plan like a great party make sure you're following all legal restrictions and things like that like an example could be some venues allow sparklers some venues don't make sure you're following all the rules and regulations with venues catering and um anything that you hire and also legal rules like some places allow you to shoot off fireworks some don't that kind of situation next would be timing but i also kind of said this with the agenda make sure you're just letting your chapter know this is something that's huge in and as much advance as possible about the event especially if it's a required event like initiation or things like that um that way people can take off work they can plan accordingly um the biggest thing is taking off work because I know a lot of girls like they need at least a month in advance to take off work. So that and for formals, finding dates, getting dresses, because I know sometimes, especially if you're ordering on like like websites like Shein or things like that, like they take weeks and weeks to come in. So um, letting people know as far as in advance as possible is the best. And also try and communicate with other Greek organizations if you can, or if you're not in Greek life, just other people. I had to like cough for a second. Other people like around you about your calendar and like, hey, does this work for you? Does this work for you? Like we have a set Google calendar. I love Google calendar. It's amazing that every like um, position in Alpha Game, like the larger ones, like finance, event planning, all of that, that we're all on and we can all see and be like, oh, like we make sure we, everyone has like, everyone's cool with that day and then we release it to the chapter things like that making sure everyone's on the same page so if you don't have a google calendar 10 out of 10 would recommend it and even if you are just planning like a family birthday party it's great to have a google calendar and then you can be like oh like we're going to do a birthday party here and then we're going to do a family dinner on this day it's great i love it 10 out of 10 would recommend next would be for um all vendors make sure you are reading the contracts very thoroughly um i have actually run into some situations where i have had to pull up the contract and been like hey you promised us this this and this and you didn't give it to us you either need to refund us or you're going to bring it up on the day of the event um uh so just because especially if you are younger like i'm only 20 i'm a college student i think people think that they can run over you but it's like no we're paying you a lot of money for this event it's gonna happen so make sure you're reading every contract before you sign it and i always print them out and highlight things that are important that i make sure the venue will w uphold their into like um if they're going to bust the tables at the end of the night or if they're going to provide ice or um if they're going to wash the linens for you if they're going to be on cleanup crew like anything like really anything about the venue that you're a little skeptical about just print it off highlight it and then the day of the venue um or the day of the event you can just slip it in your purse and if something comes up be like oh i'm so sorry this is in contract like we need to have this because this is a legal binding document and with it being a legal binding document make sure that you and um either an advisor or your chapter president look over it and make sure it's good to go and always look at the refund policies especially like with greek life we have a very tight budget like every budget has a place so or all the money has a place i guess so make sure you're reading those and like oh if like something happens last minute we have to cancel the event like that you can get your money back or that or you can move it or hold the money to like move the event to a later date something like that make sure you know what's going on with all of that um so just really pay attention to contracts at the end of the day um next would be have a plan for setup and tear down i am very blessed and very lucky that i have the most amazing friend group who went early with me to a venue and let me set up help me set up and help me tear down so i'm super lucky but if you if that's not the case or if um 
your friends are busy or something like that, have a plan. Um, I know a lot of chapters have committees. Make sure your committee is helping you with that. Again, with letting people know in advance. Or um, I know some venues let us set up like the night before and then we can tear down um, the next morning at like 6 a.m. or something. So um, really just be in really good contact with your venue on setup teardown because some places do charge by the hour for setup and teardown. That was the situation with our past formal. They're like, yeah, we'll charge you $300 for every hour that you go over for setup, if you go over a setup and teardown period. And we're like, oh, nope. Like that's why my friends came and helped me set up. And my parents ended up coming too, my aunt and helped me set up and tear down just because I was really anxious about being in that time frame because you don't want to charge your chapter or your organization or yourself if you're planning this event any extra money you want to stay within budget and even if you don't have a budget like if you're super wealthy you don't want to be spending extra money on something that you can control no one wants to be spending extra money so I really recommend having a set plan and making sure everybody who's involved knows that like at least 48 hours prior to like what I did is I sent out a detailed text to my friends like, hey, we're going to leave my apartment at this day at this time. Make sure you have your dress, your makeup, your shoes and a pair of comfy clothes that you can set up and tear down in and bring a water bottle and we'll just order pizza there if we're hungry. So and I made sure like we set up a carpool, all of that. So everything was ready to go. So that's a big thing is set up tear down. And then um, my last tip would be to don't forget to have fun. I know that's something I really struggled with, especially this past formal, spring formal. That was my first formal planning on my own. And it was very hard for me to kind of step aside sometimes and have fun. But you are still in the chapter or organization or event um you're still attending it whatever your circumstances and you need to make sure that you're having fun and that you're enjoying yourself as well so um just make sure that you're also having fun because at the end of the day who doesn't want to have fun and it's your life and you put in so much work you deserve to enjoy it so yeah i hope this video was super helpful and super informative so if you guys want to see more of me make sure to subscribe down below i really want to hit 500 subscribers it would mean the world to me it's one of my goals and i would love for you guys to join our family we upload every monday and friday if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you stayed to this point comment your favorite event that you've ever been to down below and if you guys want to see more of me you can always follow me on my instagram it's always linked down below i hope you have a great afternoon morning or night wherever you are bye everyone Damn, but hold your balance i just say whatever because there is no way you're round because everyone falls down